When we're talking about romantic relationships, modern Christian culture does some weird things. If you're not old enough or established enough to get married, some people may tell you romantic relationships might be a danger to be avoided for fear of being tempted into sin. But it can also seem like Christian culture in North America is constantly pushing people to get into serious relationships with marriage in mind. Also, it seems like our broader culture teaches us that a huge part of our fulfillment as human beings comes from finding a romantic partner, or at least a sexual partner, or several. As a result, there's a lot of confusions and questions you may have about what the Bible actually says about romance and relationships. So what does the Bible say about dating? Unfortunately for us, nothing really. At least, nothing direct. The Bible was written in a very different culture and time than the one modern Western Christians live in. Families functioned differently, society functioned differently, and therefore marriage and romance functioned differently. Marriage partnerships were often arranged by parents and involved financial transactions, bride price, exchange of land, or other such customs. Let me take you on a date to get to know you was not something often said in Israelite society. So we have to stop short of asking the Bible to tell us how to find someone who will love us romantically. That decision is determined more by the society we live in than by the Bible. But the Bible can teach us many things about love, romance, and marriage. God made everything with inherent dignity, so we should treat any romantic partner with respect. True romantic love, as it's found in marriage, brings people together so closely that it makes them into one. This kind of bond is so close that people can be vulnerable in front of each other and not feel ashamed or afraid. Grown people leave their parents' supervision when they get married, meaning that serious romantic relationships are best for people who have reached a certain level of maturity. God has made everyone to find ultimate fulfillment in Him, and so people who remain single for life are doing just fine. You don't have to find a lover to be whole. Romantic love, and especially marriage, is itself a symbol of the greater reality of God's love for people and the destiny of God's church. Just as a wedding is a momentous occasion that changes people's lives by bringing them together, so one day God and humanity, heaven and earth, will be united. Romantic love is extremely powerful and can have a profound positive effect on someone's life. While they're not the only thing that matters, romantic relationships are a beautiful and powerful part of life. If you can learn to keep them in the right perspective and priority, you may one day find that you are ready to step into a serious romantic relationship responsibly and in a way that honors both God and the one you love.